Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know, I have spent the last couple of weeks in my hometown in Metro Detroit, Michigan. Late summer, early fall is such a cool time to be in Michigan because the weather is still really beautiful. It's hot, it's kind of humid, but also cooling down a bit for fall. And there's also just so many unique things to do in the area. And so I did so many fun things on the weekends things that ranged from you know three day long trips to full day activities to things that just took an hour or two. And so those are some of the things that I wanted to share with you today in case you are in the area and looking for some adventures of your own. Before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. This really helps me out and it encourages me to keep going. And also, please give this video a big thumbs up because you already know it's going to be awesome. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first adventure activity that you can have in the Metro Detroit area during late summer slash early fall is the Woodward Dream Cruise. And I already made a full video about the Woodward Dream Cruise, so be sure to check that out above. But if you don't know what the cruise is, it's a huge outdoor car show that takes place every August in Metro Detroit on Woodward Avenue. And Woodward Avenue is a famous and historic street, not just in Michigan, but in the entire US. And the cruise is a single day event where thousands of people come to drive their classic old school cars. Um, I'm talking about cars from, I don't even know, the 60s, 70s, 80s. I mean, super old school, really nice and great condition. You would be shocked. And the cool thing about the cruise is that even if you don't have an old school car, you can drive any car that you want to show off. So if you have a super flashy, brand new Lamborghini, you're more than welcome to drive it in the cruise. I think a couple million spectators come out. They bring their lawn chairs, their tents, their coolers, and just camp out literally on the side of Woodward Avenue all day and just watch these cars parade through the street. So it's really fun. You can talk to people who own classic cars, which I got to do this year, and that interview is also in my Woodward Dream Cruise video. So again, check that out. But the Dream Cruise is a free event also, so keep that in mind. You can bring the whole family and all just have a great day. It's such a cool quintessential Motor City activity. The second activity I want to talk about today is also car related. And so even if you can't make it to the Dream Cruise, there are a ton of car related events leading up to the cruise pretty much all of August. And so this year was my first time going to the Roadkill Nights powered by Dodge event, which is basically just a giant Dodge car commercial, but it's totally fine because it was so much fun. I love cars, I love Dodges, so I was like all about it. The event took place the weekend before the Dream Cruise. There was street racing that was happening on Woodward Avenue. In the gear shift, you see the front end bounce up? And the coolest thing at this event, I think, was the thrill rides where you get on a closed course with a professional driver and you just do crazy stunts with them and it's so much fun. My friend and I stood in line for two hours to get into a Dodge Charger with the super nice professional driver from, I think, Kentucky, Nashville, I'm not sure. We did drifting, which is where you're like driving super fast and then they suddenly start turning the car and you're like being whipped around and there was smoke everywhere you're smelling like rubber burning it was really really cool all right you guys ready to go yeah, yes. Let's do it.
And the other thrill ride we didn't get to do, but it was, um, I think, just like driving super fast on like a race track. I'm not sure. The Roadkill Nights um, was not free. I think it cost $25, $30. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. But it was a lot of fun, um, especially if you are a car lover or if you just want the thrill of speeding with a professional driver. The next activity that I wanted to mention in this video is the annual Renaissance Festival. And this is an event that only takes place during a few weekends between August and October. And I think there are some other festivals like this in other cities. So if you're watching this video and you aren't in Metro Detroit, um, you should look it up and see if there's actually a Renaissance Festival where you are. But this is an event where you typically spend a full day and you go to the festival grounds and it's like being transported back into the Elizabethan era. Everyone is dressed up as maidens and knights and dragons and elves and all these crazy things. You get to do a lot of fun activities like axe throwing and archery. There's stand-up comedians and you also get to watch jousting, which is really, really cool. I also made a full video about the Renaissance Festival, so be sure to check that out. Also, the Renaissance Festival is a really unique experience that people look forward to every year and I would definitely recommend if you've never been before. And the last uh, little adventure that you can have in Metro Detroit in late summer, early fall, is checking out the Franklin Cider Mill. Growing up in Michigan as a kid, I feel like every fall we would pick apples on a school field trip and someone would always bring in apple cider for the whole class. And so I think I really associate apple cider with fall in Michigan. And so the Cider Mill is a super cool place to go because they have delicious cider and old fashioned donuts. And when you go to the mill, you can actually see the cider being made, which is a pretty interesting process. And also at the cider mill, you can buy all kind of yummy fall treats. folks come from all over the state to enjoy their cider and donuts as soon as the cider mill opens, which is Labor Day weekend. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've ever done any of these things, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. If you have other suggestions of things that folks can do in the area, please also drop those in the comments below. I would love to read them and respond. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.